two, uh, we're techno, by the way. We are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like the lights should go back down. <laughs> So I am here with Bailey of Bailey J. She's a really fabulous art channel that, um, actually you probably know this is one of the first channels that I subscribed to because you were one of the first female creators that I ran into on the platform and I was really looking for, um, to see, you know, who was a woman and creating on the platform because the initial searches all came back guys for me. Mm. So I was like, come on, there's gotta be some girls here making art. And, I ran and I was like, this is really clever. Like, I love this art. I love this voice. And I was excited about it. So, we met at ClamCon. First time. First encounter. So, we just wanted to talk to you about, um, you know, art and how fun that is and how that's really for everybody. I think that's something that you really definitely, definitely promote. Yeah, yeah. I'm very big on anyone can draw and Anyone can draw what they want and how they want to draw. I don't think there should be a lot of hard rules with art, like, oh, you need to use these supplies, they have to be used this way. For me, it's more just about getting some, just making something, just creating. You've done a really good videos about comparing supplies, and I think I've talked about that before, about, you know, um, you can make great art with, you know, stick and coffee. You know, and you certainly may have, you may have done great art with a stick and coffee. I haven't done the coffee yet. You haven't done coffee yet. So, um, something I don't know, did you go through art school or were you organically into creativity? Not directly art school. I did go to school for animation. It was heavily focused on 3D animation. So, a lot of stuff on computers, not so much the drawing. I mean, I did have traditional 2D animation classes and a few classes were related to drawing. I had three live drawing classes, for example, but it wasn't the same as going to school for art. Yeah. There's a lot of computers. Oh, that's, I feel like digital art is art. Yeah, but it wasn't digital painting. It was, it's like animation, yeah. modeling, rigging, programming, all that. Well, but now that's not what you're doing at all. <laughs> you're, I mean, I wish I was doing more animation, but... You are very whimsical and joyful in the work that you create. Where does that come from? Where does like, all of that imagination... That's like one of the number one questions I get is, like, where do you come up with ideas? I don't know. I mean, the thing that draws me to the type of art I do is the fact that it is a lot from imagination, even if you're using references yes, something you should look. I, I'm not the kind of person who likes just directly copying pictures, because to me it's more about the creativity and imagination behind it, and it's kind of hard to explain where it comes from. It's just a combination of all the influences in your life, I guess. Like movies you see, other art you see might subconsciously impact you down the line and you even realize it, things like that. So uh, um, on YouTube, who do you like watching creatively? No. <laughs> well, there's a huge list. I hate answering because I don't want to leave okay, anyone out. Okay, we don't have to do that. <laughs> Just, yeah. I don't want to start like a I'm YouTube I'm subscribed course. to so many artists. Um, and there, I'm always finding more, too, that I didn't even know existed. And there are a lot of decent-sized art channels these days. I, I asked that because I thought it was really delightful that you were talking about different artists that you liked watching. And I do that, too. Like, mm -hmm. I, I love my own jam, it's really fun, but I'm there every day, so I kind of know what it is. So I like to go see what somebody else is doing and how they're creating. Um, not, you know, I like to stalk them necessarily, but because I find it inspiring to see what another person is. And so sometimes yeah. like, should you watch other artists, should you look at other artists? And I think you really should. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like knowing what everyone else is up to. Because I, I don't like when I post something that's really similar to something someone else just posted. So I like seeing what's everyone doing. And it just inspires me because I see them throwing up. You know, I want to draw. It's like showing up the same dress. I've had that happen because yeah. I, I I use the same reference site as a much at the time another much larger creator, mm -hmm. right? But it was just the same free reference site, and we just it was a limited photograph. I think is what happened. I think a bunch of us did it, but I'm like, oh, the same thing. I'm so embarrassed. It was like trying to get me back to I'm Like I can't, I can't face anyone. But it, you know, sourcing just happens. It's like if I see someone I'm subscribed to do a certain type of video, I'll try to not, like if I was planning on doing that and then someone else uploads a similar video, I'll try to hold off mm -hmm. most of the time unless I really have no choice because of scheduling, but I just don't like posting the same things. Do you ever like, uh, do you wait and drop it later or do you just scrub it and schedule all together? I think I normally just wait. I can't think of a time where I completely dropped an idea, but sometimes that pushing it till later means kind of dropping it because I guess I don't go back and revisit it or I just haven't yet. 
Yeah, and then I think there's a thing that happens um, in this creative space where everybody is like, ex like excited about the same kind of presentation or an idea at the same time. And it's just like you're out there and like, oh, we're all doing it. It's like with certain sponsorships too. The companies will contact a whole slew of artists, mm -hmm. and you don't you don't realize everyone else has been contacted. So I'll put up my video, and then there's a million other ones that also pop up, and I'm just like, oh, we're all doing the same thing at the same time. I wish. I wish the company sponsoring would space things out a little bit. Yeah, I, I have noticed that where like everything is like a flood in space. But I still think that even when I see stuff that's like it's it seems like it's similar like uh, I like to talk about like it's the holidays, everybody's gotta do like a Christmas tree. <laughs> We're all gonna drop one, right? It's gonna happen. But I'd love to see um how oh, everybody's is different and I do a lot of collaboration a lot of times we'll just use a theme and just let everybody interpret the theme. Yeah, and even with having a single thing, it's not like we can get organized and come up with the same thing. We're all so like different and weird. Yeah, that's like with how I'm part of the YouTube artist club. Again, it's mm -hmm. just every couple months we all draw something based on the same theme, mm -hmm. and that's fun just to see how it's all interpreted. Oh, uh, the YouTube artist collective. I bet that's something they might not know about and they would enjoy. What is the YouTube artist collective? Yeah, it's just a group of YouTube artists, and like I mentioned, we all make art based on a common theme, and it's chosen by viewers. They submit suggestions and we do a poll, so it's chosen by you guys, and then we all create original art and we sell the originals to make them available for purchase if people want. But it's kind of fun because we upload the videos on the same day. We also have a Facebook page where we post updates and things, so it's pretty cool. And anyone's welcome to join and just be a part of it because we do have our official members mm -hmm. who we promote on the page, but for anyone who can join these themes and make their own art based on the so, theme. And so any them. any creative person with a creative channel can do the thing, participate, mm -hmm. yeah. just, you know. Yeah. That's awesome. How is that not completely awesome? And you guys are probably, you know, really moving the themes that are really exciting and trending. Well, I mean, it's definitely the ones people vote for. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily things that are currently trending, but just, I guess, things that are always popular, like the one we're doing, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but just this coming, well, tomorrow, tomorrow is the next YouTube Artist Collective for us. <laughs> but in the time <laughs> so travel, it's, like, it's going to take us forever to edit this, so you yeah. guys will be late. Sorry about hey, that. Hey, so you can go and watch them. They're all up on YouTube. Go watch them all. So the theme, the themes are usually pretty general. Like this one's underwater, no, oh, ocean world. Ocean world is the theme. That's a good theme. So it's, it's, it's somewhat specific, but it's still broad. You can do anything with an ocean world. That could mean anything. So it's really fun to see what people do. I, I know for me it was really exciting to meet Bailey. Ba 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 just real was. I just, I just was like, huh. it's, so <laughs> nice. it's very nice when you meet people in real life and they're super sweet. That is like maybe the best experience. You're like, oh yay! My thing is I get shy meeting people for the first time. So I'm like, oh. These are things are really <laughs> And then once I'm around a little bit longer, that's when I'm just like, do it. <laughs> so you are gonna go do a really exciting collaboration, and that's gonna be fun. You know, go check out uh, Bailey J's channel, and she's other channels that do other things, like many channels. I have a vlog channel where I daily vlog, and then I have my unboxing channel where I, I open up like toys and collectibles. I'm a huge Disney fan, and that's what mostly kickstarted this. So. Aren't you doing a bunch of Disney art? Yeah, yeah I do fan art once in a while. Disney yeah. stuff. Yeah, but they, they like, like you. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Disney likes me or not. <laughs> you should. You should. This would be fantastic in the gallery. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? So, I, yeah, we're both like, it's like, it's a bit like that. You gotta catch us more, like, immediately, like, you know, singing with Jaza, apparently. <laughs> so, basically, obviously, I'm not the only one that thinks art is for everyone and art is everything. Plus, there's a bunch of new people. And if you haven't checked them out, you should, and I really would love it if you went to check out Bailey. And also, you know, maybe take on, took on, take on, took on a new idea, a new practice, you know, try something new and exciting because it's all, it's all really the same thing. Like you could start painting, you probably also could start doing anything in art. Mm -hmm. It's all really, it's all one. And I'm going to see you really soon. Bye.